Hi, Internet friends. It's day number eight of our series, 20 Days of Chief Architect X15. I'm Tim Schrock from Design Build Solutions, and today's feature video is on skylight sizing. I'm excited to share this with you. Let's get started with our favorite software. Skylight sizing has finally upgraded and improved. Uh, I've often gone into like, you know, what is for an 812 pitch, what is the roof multiplier times the width length of the skylight? And it's, uh, I've often wondered why I couldn't just do that either with a macro or with something within Chief. And now we can in X15. So here is the skylights, a couple of different skylights. Uh, you can see I've got, yes, a circular skylight and a rectangular skylight. Let's go into the skylight specification dialog box. You'll notice, first of all, this is truly a skylight specification. It used to be a skylight slash roof hole specification. And now we've got some different uh, controls for this skylight specification. I want to do a quick uh, comparison for you. You can see the specifications between X14 here on the left and X15 on the right, where, like I said, this is the, was the roof hole slash skylight specification box. Now it's specifically skylight specification. Um, we have the frame width and height now is controlled here. And we've got this additional information of shape and width and height of the unit itself. That is pretty much, as I go through, um, you'll see selected line is no longer a panel over here, but that's okay. Um, we've got this. Let's zoom back up onto X15. And so I'm going to give this example as if I'm doing a VLUX uh, fixed skylight M08. And VLUX tells me that that is 30 and 1 16 wide and 54 and 7 16 tall. I could do my figure out my frame width and height and click OK. Notice we also have control of does this frame display in plan view or not? So do I want to do my this standard um, polyline, you know, rectangle, or do I want to go ahead and show the frame here as well? But You'll notice that this dimension, while I entered 54 and 7 16 if I take a tape measure along this long edge, that is only 3 foot 9 and 5 16 in plan view, because Chief figured out that this is a roof pitch with 812 pitch, and so it's calculating that difference. If I were to change this to a 312, you'll notice it get it just got longer. Four foot four and thirteen sixteenths. If I change it to a say twenty twelve, it got shorter. But it's still the same fifty four and seven sixteenths inch long. So Chief is automatically figuring out based on the pitch and the length that you entered the unit size that what um, it should show in plan view. You'll also notice that we can resizing, we can lock the center top or bottom. And as you see over here, we still have uh, square sides, plumb sides or plumb square. You can automatically generate, manually edit the ceiling hole or do not generate a ceiling hole and generate or not generate the shaft down to the ceiling hole. You'll notice we have circular uh, skylights. We have ellipses and ovals as well. So let's say 
you wanted a 48 length and a 30 inch wide, you could do that. But the, what I like showing about the circular is that in plan view, yes, even though it's a circle in the, in the 3D, in plan view, because it's on the pitch, it would be seen as an ellipse here. So a lot better um, control and options with skylights and unit sizes and um, display based on what that roof pitch is. The other thing I like that I just saw, and I, I'll have to look at uh, 14, is if I turn on roof labels, the labels for the roof itself, that skylight appears as a label in the roof. Um, let's go to 14 and see what that does here as a label for the roof itself. So I'm going to turn on the roof labels layer. Oh, it does show there as a label. Automatic label. So yeah, we have control of what layer it's on by by default, the system layer would show it as roof labels. Um, so that's good. But I just noticed that in 15, so <laughs> a little benefit there. Um, if we were to change that label, let's say specify the label as uh, FSM08. There we go. All right, that's Skylights. If you've learned something new uh, and are enjoying this series on Chief Architect X15, click like and subscribe down there and follow along. Hit the notification bell to get notified each day as we drop these uh, videos. Thanks for following along.